Look, environmentalists. These are utopian people that live on cloud nine and cause all kinds of confusion and negative impacts. There are lawnmowers outside. The March 1863 Enrollment Act permitted wealthy men to legally dodge the Civil War draft by paying a $300 enrollment fee to the U.S. government. This was a controversial loophole, and it funded the public perception of a rich man's war but a poor man's fight. The sight of a well-dressed man caused during the 1863 draft riots in New York City for common folk to scream, There's a $300 man. Today we have many $300 men in the form of politicians such as Al Gore. At the end of his movie, An Inconvenient Truth, which won a documentary award recently, he asked, Are you ready to change the way you live? He suggests that you do many things to reduce your impact your home has on the environment. That would include using less hot water, buying more expensive fluorescent light bulbs, using less heating and air conditioning, using clothesline rather than a dryer, carpooling, flying less, and using cost-inefficient hybrid cars. Gore calls the fight against global warming a moral imperative rather than a scientific issue in the movie, but you might reasonably think that he practices what his website and he preaches, but you would be wrong. The Tennessee Center for Policy Research reported that Gore's Nashville mansion consumed more than 20 times the electricity than the national average. Last August, the Gore mansion burned more than twice the electricity in a single month as the average home does in an entire year. Gore's heated pool house alone uses more than $500 in electricity every month. I don't believe Gore has talked about it, however, Gore's spokesman tried to deflect the charges of do as I say, do not as I do, by stating, that the purchase that he purchases offsets for the carbon emissions to bring the carbon footprint down to zero which i don't know exactly how you do that by a negative amount of carbon but he himself has been very open to the public about this approach to carbon neutrality and he you know preaches it as well but this claim is not exactly true and it is quite meaningless in terms of global warming firstly Al Gore does not purchase carbon offsets at all out of his own pocket and actual economic cost. They are given to him for free. The actual purchaser is an investment firm called GIM. He co-founded the company with David Blood, CEO of Goldman Sachs. Men Sachs. The Carbon Neutral Company is one of the vendors that sells carbon negative footprints to the GIM. They say the offset purchases will quote, will be unable to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the short term. Instead, they merely say, one, to demonstrate commitment to taking action on climate change, two, add an economic component to climate change, and three, help engage and educate the public. Four, may provide local, social, and environmental benefits to help encourage the use of low-carbon technologies. His company also buys the offsets to their employees. Kind of a bonus, you know? It really helps a normal person to be given free carbon offsets. You know, health insurance is not in anymore. It's You should get carbon offsets. Would you like the choice of a free vacation or perhaps some free carbon sequestration for your family? He advocates that the rest of us who cannot so easily offset our carbon production suffer a myriad of personal sacrifices. While Gore relaxes in his posh mansion and heated pool, you should be... You know, taking shorter, fewer showers, and putting your clothes out to dry instead of using a dryer. While he's cruising at 3,000 feet with societal elites, you should be, you know, using your car less and driving to work more on a bicycle. You should probably using, be using less air conditioning and less heating, too. You know what, you probably shouldn't use electricity at all. Except for the internet, you know, you can use all his inventions. You should use more electricity while him and his wife Tipper use 20 times the national average of a home. That's a real carbon offset. I don't like people telling me how to live my life when they won't even do it themselves. At a cost to me, but no cost to them. Would you like any references or have any ideas to see things on the show? Email me at mac.thecast.gmail.com